In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a custom templated button card to represent the current status of a device visually using a custom image and text using a templated markdown card. All of this will be controlled with an automation in Home Assistant. The device I'm using today is a smart plug used by my washing machine, which outputs the current energy being used. This will be helpful for determining whether the washing machine is currently idle or on a wash cycle. First, I'm going to create a new page on my tablet dashboard called Kitchen. Like all the other pages on this dashboard, the view type I'll be using is a grid layout. This is made possible using the layout cards component, which can be installed to your Home Assistant via the Home Assistant Community Store, or Hacks for short. For the grid areas, H1 will be my header, M1 and M2 will be empty margins, and C1 will be where I locate the button card and markdown card. Before adding the first card, I'll need to upload custom images to Home Assistant which will be used for when the device is currently idle and when it's currently on a cycle. The image needs to be uploaded to the www folder and in this case I have it in the subdirectory called pictures. If you don't have this folder you'll need to create a new folder within the config directory by right clicking and clicking new folder and give it the name www. Once you upload the images, make a note of the URL path to the image file, which we'll need when adding a new card to the dashboard. For this example, the URL to the PNG image file will be forward slash local forward slash pictures forward slash the file name. Now we're going to create a virtual toggle within the helper section of Home Assistant. This toggle will be turned on and off depending on the machine's current power usage. To do this, click Create Helper, select Toggle and give it a name. Now I'm going back to the kitchen page of my tablet dashboard and I'll be adding a custom button card. This custom button card can be installed on Hacks. I'll leave a link in the description which will take you to the GitHub repository of this component. The entity I'm using on this card is the virtual toggle we just set up on the helper page. The idea here is when the toggle turns on or off dependent on the machine's current power usage, the custom image which we will define on this card will change. As I've mentioned before in previous videos, this card does not include a user interface, but rather is written out entirely by YAML. I'll have this YAML code in the description of this video, meaning you'll just need to adjust the entity and the image files to be used. On this section, I'm now defining what the picture should be when the toggle is turned off using entity underscore picture and then the image file URL path we noted down earlier. And below this, we'll need to define what image is to be used when the toggle is turned on.
just to quickly test this, we can click on the image file and it should cycle through what the image will be when the toggle is turned on and vice versa for when the toggle is turned off. To finish off this card, I'll be removing the default card background as well as the grey border on the edge of the card. This will result in just the image being exposed on the dashboard. Once you're happy, click save. Currently the card isn't positioned where I want it. I need it to be in the C1 position we defined early in the video on the grid layout. To do this, go back into the card we just created and include view layout and then the grid area. In this case, is C1. This dashboard is also missing the header that I defined in the grid layout. So for this, I'm just going to add a horizontal stack. In the horizontal stack, I'm just going to include a gap card to fill the space, but later on I can add additional cards to this space. For the grid area, H1 was how I defined my header. Now my header is in place, the last thing I want to add is a markdown card to display text underneath my washing machine logo. I want both the button card and the markdown card to be nested inside a grid card. To do this, all I need to do is copy all the code from my button card, then I can delete that card and paste the code in a new grid card. The only thing I need to change here is to cut the view layout and grid area from the button card's code and paste it onto the grid card. This will then specify the grid card and everything inside the grid card to be located on the area I've defined in my grid layout. Now I just need to add a new markdown card. For the template, I want the text to display running if the state of our virtual toggle is set to on, otherwise the text will display idle. Before the templated text, I'm just going to add a default message, which will be the washing machine is, resulting in either the washing machine is running or the washing machine is idle. Now I just want to center the text and change the font size using CSS. For the templated text, I want the font and colour to be different, so I'll need to include forward slash font at the end of the default message and then define a new style for the templated text.
and just like the button cards, I'll be removing the card's background and grey border. The markdown card doesn't have the built-in capabilities to do this, so we'll need to use the card mod, which can be installed from Hacks. Again, everything you need will be posted in the description. Again, when you're happy, click save, and now I have the card exactly how I want it. All that's left is to create an automation to tell the toggle when to turn on and off. I'm just going to go to the devices and services page to show you what entity I'll be using in the automation. In this case, it will be the sensor called current power. So I'm just going to copy the entity name ready for use in the automation. Head over to Automations and Scenes and create a new automation. The trigger will be a numeric state. When the current power is above 10 watts for 30 seconds, this trigger will activate. I'm also going to give this trigger an ID, which will be referenced in the Actions section. From here, I'll just duplicate the trigger, change the trigger ID, and change the state from above 10 to below 1.3 for one and a half minutes. So now we should have two triggers, one that's activated when the washing machine's power is above 10 watts for 30 seconds, and one that's activated when the washing machine's power is below 1.3 watts for one and a half minutes. For the action, select Choose, and the first option's condition will be triggered by On, which is the trigger ID we gave to the first numeric state trigger we created. The action for this particular option will be to turn the virtual toggle to the on position, so we'll need to use the service input boolean turn on. Then we just need to select the virtual toggle we created on the helpers page. And then all that's left is to create a second option, which will be triggered by the trigger with the ID of off and the action for this will be to call the service input boolean turn off. Once that's done, click save and we should be ready to test everything out. So the next time the washing machine is on a cycle, the dashboard image should change as well as the text on the markdown card. To wrap this video up I'm just going to add a background image to this page. This is done within the raw configuration editor page. Navigate to the correct area, in this case I'm looking for the kitchen view. Then use the background command and define what image you want to use as well as additional options for positioning the image. Click save and when you go back to the dashboard your background image should now have changed. And 
And finally, I need to ensure that the navigate button on my dashboard's home screen redirects to this page when it's clicked on. That's all for this video, again check out the description for all relevant links and documentation. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful and also to keep you updated of my future videos.